All right, how do we divide radicals? When we're dividing radicals, just like with multiplying, you need to think outside divided by outside, inside divided by inside. It's like terms, okay? What I want to see here, or what I want to show you here, is these first two can take on two different forms. This right here, the square root of 10 over the square root of 5, you could also see as the square root of 10 over 5, like this. And that's why we're dividing the inside with inside. And so this will become the square root of 2. If it started with the radical, leave that radical sign on it. And so that's where you see over here with H, this is just like saying the square root of 21 divided by the square root of 3. And so 21 can be divided by 3 evenly, and it would be the square root of 7. With I over here, we're going to go ahead and divide this out. We're going to have the radical side because these are both radicands. 40 divided by 5 is 8. This is going to be another one that is not simplified. Again, this, I had one on the multiplication. This rarely ever happens, but let's go ahead and take the 8 and simplify. I do the division tower. And if you haven't watched any of my videos, you have a different teacher, this is how the division tower works. You divide by the smallest prime number possible. 2 uh, into 8 is going to give you 4. And you keep dividing by the smallest prime number possible until you wind up with the prime number at the top. Then our partners are going to go outside as one contestant for a three-legged race. Anybody left over is going to stay inside because they cannot participate in the three-legged race. If you are a little confused about that or you're like, hey, I want to know more about that, look up, my, uh, look up my Simplifying Radicals video. It explains everything in detail. All right, so with J, okay, all we need to do here is take 150 and divide, it by the, uh, divide, divide 150 by 2. And we're going to wind up with the square root of 75. Again, we're going to have a not simplified, so we need to simplify this. All right, with my division tower, the smallest prime number possible. Two cannot go into it. So we move up to the next smallest prime number of three, and we can. That's going to get us 25. 25 cannot be divided by two. The next smallest prime number three can't go into it. The next smallest prime number is five, and we're going to get five. So here, our radical house, we have a pair of partners right here, the five. That little lonely three has to stay inside, and so we wind up with five square root of three. So the next two are going to deal with uh, having whole numbers as well. So this is your inside divided by inside, outside divided by outside. Eight divided by two will give you four. And then 12 divided by two is going to give you six. We always want to make sure we are simplified. Again, six is going to be one of those that is already simplified, good one to have memorized. But even if you don't know, if you go and you look, it's going to be two times three of prime numbers. So this is simplified. The next one, we're going to have nine divided by five. What I need you to notice is nine cannot be evenly divided by five. What I want you to do is leave it as nine over five. When you divide the radicands, these will divide. The radical sign is going to remain in the numerator. And then we divide the five by th sorry, the 15 by 3 to get 5. This is how you leave your answer. 9 square root of 5 over 5. Nothing can be simplified. These cannot be simplified because one's a whole number and one is a radical. Okay, make sure you see a little bit of everything. So uh, the previous video was on multiplying uh, on my video list. So feel free to search any of my other radical videos for extra help.